Arsinoe. I bid you welcome, noble Iran, and you too, faithful Arsinoe. You know who we are through your magic. From the time that my poor father was murdered many years ago by the cruel Agadon, whose niece, Penifus, now occupies the throne of Memphis unlawfully, I have been living in a hiding place far up in the mountains, developing my skill in the use of weapons of war as I grew to manhood. And I pray and hope the day will soon come when I will have my revenge. Meanwhile, all this time, our people have suffered under the yoke of tyranny, compelled against their will to worship a cruel and bloodthirsty god who insists on being satisfied every day with the sacrifice of human beings. For quite some time now, many omens and prophecies have led us to believe that the day of reckoning is not far off. Will you show us in your great wisdom the best road for us to follow? Nothing which occurs ever happens by chance. And I am not able to tell you anything except what is told to me by those who have power over me. Make a drop of your blood flow and fall into this magic basin, and I'll be able to tell you what you wish to know. I foresee a long and hard-fought battle, but you will overcome every difficulty if you have fighting at your side the powerful man who will add to the force of your weapons the strength of his mighty arms and of his great heart. Where can this man be found? If you know, tell me his name, and if need be, I will offer him half of my kingdom. No, the man who will assist you sets no price on his abilities. He is a warrior, and his powers are supernatural. He was given life by the sun, and the man's name is Machiste. Machiste, I beg you. You are the only one who can do it. We are unable to pay our tribute. We are poor people. We live in poverty. What can we do? And soldiers have been sent out by Queen Tenefus. They're collecting all the young girls, kidnapping them from our village. What are we to do? Oh, hurry and save our young girls. They're taking them to Memphis to be sacrificed to the god of fire. I'll put a stop to this. <sighs> Come on. Well, sirs, here, go follow me, hurry! One of you dares as much as lift a finger, your village will be raised to the ground. But we cannot pay our tribute, my lord. We have lost our entire harvest. Believe me. Get out of the way, you. Be off. You. We cannot pay. Touch everywhere. All our crops have been destroyed. We have nothing left. Have pity on us. We'll all die of hunger, my lord. We'll die of hunger. Have mercy on us. Have mercy. <laughs> before you soldiers murdered him along with all my people. It would never have happened if your people too had done their duty. And you call it a duty to submit to such cruel laws as these? Mind your tongue, my girl. You are very beautiful. 
And I'm not the sort of man who's likely to overlook the charms of a beautiful girl. I have the right to choose a woman for myself from among the group of prisoners. The one I choose is you. And I assure you, you'll not regret it. I'd prefer to be killed rather than go on living as a slave of yours. Why do you say that? Aren't you flattered that I've chosen you to be the favorite of Thamile? The captain of the Queen's own bodyguard? You, put her with the others and tie them all together. Pity, <laughs> my lord, I beseech you. Signore. Signore, ti scongiuro. Abbi pietà. At least bear the lives of our young women. It's no fault yeah. of mine you refuse to pay tribute. Get up. Uh, Find uh, your feet. Uh, Mount your horses. Uh, Come home, my lord. Please have pity on us, my most noble lord. Spare the lives of our women. Please. <laughs> Avanti, che me è lontano.
tell them to surrender. Patrol! Throw down your weapons! Have mercy! I'm sparing you and your men so you can go back to Memphis and tell Queen Tenefus that you met Machiste and he defeated you. Go on, run! <laughs> Geza, Zirgo, you will accompany these women back to the village and then join me at the camp. Why, you are Majesty. Yes, of course I am. You know me? Is there anyone who doesn't know you? Your name is a household word wherever people are in need of help. But why didn't you come to save us sooner? The world is wide and injustice is everywhere, but you can thank the gods that I came in time to save you and your friends. It's all right now. You can all go back to your village. Please let me go with you, Machiste. I'm all alone in the world now. I have no relatives at all in the village. I will be your slave for as long as I live or whatever else you wish me to be. What is your name? Anthea. You know, Anthea, that we are a people without a country or a home to call our own. Then from now on, my country will be where you are. We lead a hard life and one that's full of sacrifices. If you will only share it with me, I will face every sacrifice with joy. All right, then. Machiste attacked us on the way, my queen. And no power on earth would be a match for his strength. There was a boulder that not even a hundred men could have budged. He dislodged it alone and rolled it down on top of us. How young is he? He's very young and handsome, my queen. He has great influence because the people follow him and love him. Go, Zamayel. were put to flight by the mighty Machiste. And Samayo, who is one of our most courageous captains, has been defeated by Machiste. That man is fast becoming a real menace to my government. As long as the God of Fire gives his protection, we have nothing to fear from him. Machiste, mighty as he is, could never defeat the Uri men who surround and guard you. That's not enough. I want to get even with this man for the way that he is humiliating us. As you wish. And I swear by the gods that we'll bring him before you. And who is we? Do I need to remind you that I have never yet failed to keep a promise to you? It was I who made you absolute ruler of Memphis. I will give you the head of this machiste. I want him here alive, and don't forget it. Whatever for? Simply putting a warrior like machiste to death is by no means the proper solution. He will have to suffer first, and let the people come from all over the land to witness that I, Tenefis, can hold in chains as my prisoner the great and invincible machiste. I'll give a hundred pieces of gold to who captures him. As you wish. Ladies, gather around, see my wares, come and see. 
Come, ladies, come, ladies. See the most beautiful stuffs in all of the Orient. Come and look. Tell me if you've ever seen such silks as these, softer or brighter than these. This color is becoming to your eyes. Just look at it. Feel its texture. Just think what your sweetheart will say when he sees you arrayed in this. And it's only three dinars, three dinars. Provaci ancora, ti farò vedere io. Non temere. Vuoi scommettere che ti levo una mosca dal naso senza nemmeno scaffirti? Vuoi provare? Eh? <ride> Vieni, Rice. Tocca a te, fratello. Se riesci a colpire cinque dita sopra il bersaglio, questo coltello è tuo. And Queen Tenebris, who is mistress of these lands of yours, always comes to me alone for the soft and supple garments that adorn her great beauty. Here. Here you are. Three Just a moment. Machiste, Very well. Who was it they said was coming? Machiste, we are his people here. Machiste. My friend, there, you see? From now on, these will all be your people. Tama, make room for her in your tent and be her friend. This is the first time that Machista has brought a woman back with him. I'm so grateful. He saved me from a terrible fate. When you're saved by Machista, you are safe forever after. That's why I wanted to come with him. Of course. Is there any sign of Prince Iram? No, none at all. The sentinels have been posted and are ready to give the signal. According to the message he sent us earlier, Prince Iram and his men should arrive today. Who is that girl you brought home with you? Anthea. Why did you want to do that? Because I believe I read something in her eyes that I'd never read in any other woman's eyes in my life before. Machiste, aren't you coming? Except this one. She is my only true love. Put me down. <laughs> Come and see the lamb I've cooked you. Just as fat and juicy a Just lamb. as fat and juicy as you are, Agus. Come Let's on. eat. Let's go. Have to go right back, Tama. You're on watch here, and I still have work to do. I'll stay here for a minute. Look, they won't even realize that you aren't back there working. Oh. Come here. Go back to your post now. Machista never forgives anyone who fails to do his duty.
Prince Iram is coming. How can I thank you enough, Machiste? How could I fail to come to the help of Prince Iram, the son of my best friend? This is Arsinoe, the man to whom I owe my life. Welcome, Arsinoe. Let's go to my tent. Where are you going, Rice? This is no place for a boy. I'm not a boy any longer. But you're not a man yet. Don't you worry. Your time will come. Now go polish my weapons until they shine. You hear? Before long, I'll be needing them. Did you hear that? A brave, heroic task for me. I have to polish up his old weapons. You can laugh, but you know I'm not allowed to marry you before I've performed some deed of valor by myself. This is the law of our tribe, you know. Oh, don't be impatient. I'm just as sure as you are that one day you'll be a hero and your name will be as famous in the world as Machiste. That's not very likely. No one could ever equal Machiste. Come on, I have something to show you. Some marvelous new silk I bought today from Onus. Come and see. of terror, believe me. A king, his father, butchered by traitors, and I, to save his son, pretended to be one of Agadon's most ruthless followers. I told him that I would kill the boy with my own hands. Instead, I fled with him, and then had the rumor spread that both of us were murdered trying to escape. For many years, I've been in hiding, nursing my desire for revenge and retribution. Now the time has come at last. The tribes up in the mountains are all ready to revolt and will help me. But there's nothing we can do if the people aren't willing to join us. It surely won't be simple. I know that in Memphis there are many people who wish the times were what they were, ready and willing to fight for justice, but the populace is ruled by terror. It's as though they were spellbound by the idol of the fire god in the daily sacrifices. Before they'll move, we'll have to... Go on, speak. We'll have to let the people know that you are with us, so they'll have confidence. And let them see you. And let them be sure of it. Is that all? Well, let me take care of that. I'll go to Memphis and put myself at the head of the people and lead them in rebellion. And how will you get into the city? The walls are heavily defended and all the gates are under guard. And besides, once you are inside, who will put you in touch with the rebel leaders? I, I could guide the mighty Machiste. Well, who are you? I am Omnis, the silk merchant. You don't remember me, but I know you. I saw you as a child in the palace. And I knew your father, and I knew your mother, too. And how did you find us here? I move about quite easily. I have to show my wares to one and all, rich and poor alike. So I happen to be in the city in the hope of doing a profitable trade. Tell me, why are you offering to take me into the city? Because I also hate Agadon and Queen Tenefis. With their outrageous taxes, they've impoverished everyone. And business is bad when the people of the city are poor. You are acting in your own interest, then. You are right, my young warrior. Each of us has his aim. It will be good business for a merchant, power for a royal prince, and glory for a great hero. You're right. And just how will you smuggle us inside the city? The guards know me readily by sight. I am allowed to answer for anyone journeying with me. And once you are inside the city walls, I will then put you in contact with a certain uh, Moas, who knows you well, I believe, Arsinoe, and with Crestes and Artonis and Janok. All good citizens champing at the bit now and waiting for the right moment to rise in rebellion. How do you manage to know all this? Who better than a merchant can keep abreast, hear the news, evaluate it? Yesterday a phrase dropped, and today an indiscretion, tomorrow a confidential word. You absorb it all, and you finally can read straight into the inmost thoughts of the speaker. Very well, then. I feel I can trust you. Prince Iram, the soldiers of Agadon have itchy fingers, and I am a poor man, a very poor man. Well, here are 20 pieces of gold. Use whatever is necessary, and the rest is for you. Thank you, Prince Iram. If we are to arrive early in Memphis, we must prepare to begin our journey no later than tonight. Agar, take him with you and give him everything that he needs. And while I'm away from camp, Tabo will be in command here. Keep your weapons sharpened and be ready for a battle. How am I going to repay you in kind, Machiste, for what you are doing for us? By governing with benevolence and justice, Ira. You have my promise. This is the first time I've ever been separated from my faithful Arsinoe. May it please the gods that our efforts meet with success, even if it should cost me my own life. I'm going back to the mountains. You know where I'll be. If you can't come to me yourself, 
Send someone with this ring. I will do exactly what your messenger tells me you want done. Take me with you, Machiste. I want to show my brother what I'm really worth. It's man's work, Rice. Your girl will have to wait for you. It's easier to take the trail through the mountains with only one horse. Ho aspettato qui per dirti, torna Maciste, perché se tu non tornassi io ne morirei. Such a handsome sum will be tempting to more than a few. What do you plan to do now? For the moment, the best thing to do is to go to my warehouse. I know we'll be safe there. Determined to do this? Yes, I'm going to make my way along the river. That way, no one will be able to see me. That's where the road to Memphis begins. Aren't you afraid of disobeying your brother Tabo's orders as well as Machista's? At Memphis, I'll be able to show them my true worth. And when Machista sees me fighting side by side with him, he won't say a thing. I'll see you soon, Tom. Oh. Be careful, Rice. And may the gods protect you. Here. 
Did you wish to speak to me? Yes, great Argodog. Who are you? I am Omnis, the silk merchant. Well, what do you want? To speak to you of Machiste. Hmm. Since we announced the price on this head, five people have been here to speak to me of Machiste. But they were lying. And in place of a hundred pieces of gold, every one of them received the same number of lashes. I will count the money instead, Argodon, because I myself have already hidden Machiste inside the city. You'd better be telling the truth, because otherwise I might have to double the lashes you'll get. Even if I were to tell you that Arsinoe and his pupil, Prince Iram, whom you thought were both dead, are alive and well. You lunatic, what do you mean? Let go of me, you're hurting my arm. Speak up if you don't want to have your arm broken off. I swear I've seen them with my own eyes. Where were they? At a campsite. He was speaking to Machiste. And where is your arm? I don't know, but Machiste is here. I'm ready to prove it to you. Let go of me. You said things that are worth an entire kingdom. Woe to you if you've been lying. Your arm's alive, I tell you, and he's asked him for his assistance. For that reason, Machiste is in the city. And where is he to be found at this moment? Will I have my reward then? Certainly. Where is he? Oriak was a marvelous architect, you know. He constructed a system whereby anyone within this palace has a hundred ears for eavesdropping throughout the city. And you must often listen to what is said in the marketplace. How is it that you're aware of this? Oriok used to be fond of the bottle and confided in me. Pity that he happened to die so soon after finishing his work here. I have convinced Machiste to establish contact with the rebel leaders. He's seeing Moros and Crestes and Arsido and Jonak and others, all the leaders. But where and where? Give me my money first. I have earned my reward. You'll have it. In any case, if you've been lying, you won't leave here alive. They are in the garden now, under the statue of the god Kano. And it was I who suggested they hold their meeting there. You have Machiste's word for it. And by the loyalty that binds you to Prince Iram, I swear to you that we will succeed in recovering the kingdom. We have no doubt of it, Machiste. Tell us what you want us to do, and we shall obey you. Thank you, my friends. Now, please listen very carefully to me. According to the plan I made with Prince Iram, tomorrow morning, I want all of you to assemble with your men. You, come this way with me. You close in from that side. Be quick. That's all, friends. Now, everyone, go back to your houses and prepare yourselves to do battle. Soldiers! That's my son, standing guard. Oh, they've killed. Quick, run for your lives. Run, Arsino. Go back to Prince Iram. <laughs>
prisoner you sought, my queen. You would never have imagined, Baptiste, that you would ever become my prisoner. Of what use to you now are all your powers and your mighty strength. If I were you, Queen Tenethys, I wouldn't boast too soon of victory. You have feelings as well as brute force. And however proud you may be, at one sign from me, your body would be run through with a hundred lances. But that would be a pity indeed. I shall spare your life if you consent to serve me faithfully. What are you saying, my queen? Let us first try to make him tell us where we can find Prince Ira. And if he refuses, we will throw him to the Yuri men. Have no fear, Agadon. Machiste would never consent to serve as oppressor of poor people, no matter what you do to me. Is that so? Nevertheless, I tell you that I will force you to do just what I want. Put him in the dungeon. And you, Samayo, take care now. You are responsible for his safety. Go on, obey your orders. <laughs> Come over you, Tenefis. Why don't we have him put to torture at once? That will be the only way we can finally discover where we can hunt down and capture Prince Iram. As you like. Go and have it announced to the populace that tomorrow much is to be subjected to a trial of strength. <laughs> There you see your companions buried with just their heads exposed above the ground. Chariots with sharp-bladed wheels are waiting only for my signal to tear you apart and slice off their heads. If you're able to restrain the horses, I'll grant your freedom. If I didn't know for sure that no human being could overcome such a force as that, I would say that your benevolence has extended too far, showing mercy to those men who have sworn to do away with you. This is what I have decided, and this shall be done. Now let the trial begin.
de Kerl na Chistia Victoria. What are you doing, my queen? This rabble is hysterical over my chest. Don't be afraid, my fearful Agadon. Have you forgotten, perhaps, the great magic power of this scepter which I have inherited? Tenefis the Queen, who orders you. I shall be your slave. Order anything and I will obey you. Sit from my goblet. If I had, would I be as fat as this? <laughs> <laughs> the view of the city from my garden terrace. The feast will continue as before. Her indiscretion knows no boundary. Keep up appearances and treat her calmly. Machiste is not invulnerable, that's obvious. You see? Memphis lies at our feet. But it means very little to me. Ever since I first heard people speak of you, I've dreamt of having you here at my side, Machiste. Thanks to you, I'm to rule the world at last. 
no one will be more powerful than I. I will carry out any order you give me. What's left behind will soon be forgotten. I've already lost all memory of my past. My life began when I first met you. And would you stay at my side for the rest of your life? No power on earth could tear me away from you. <coughs> Forgive me, my queen. The representatives of the city are waiting to take their leave of you. You have often before attended to these courtesies for me. Whenever I was sure I could control myself to act as I should in your stead, but now I'm not. I'll only be a moment. The path is open now. You must get away. Get away? What for? But she stay. We must go back to the camp at once. It's time for us to join with Prince Aram's men. But I'm on duty in the service of Queen Tenefus. What is this camp I'm supposed to go to? Why, our own. But she stay. You won't forget to tell my brother I helped you escape, will you? If you tell him, then I can marry Tama. I have no idea what you're talking about, young man. Who is your brother? And who is Tama? But what are you saying? What in the world has gotten into you? I am a soldier who is loyal to Queen Tenefus. And to her alone, I owe obedience. A chiste. Bad news for you, Arsinoe. But unfortunately, all too true. Everyone is talking about it. Magista has betrayed us and sold his services to the Queen. I don't believe it. It's not possible. He's pretending, carrying out some plan of his. If what you say is right, then we must be the first to do what we can for him. I've spoken with others. They are all more than ready to lay down their lives for Magista. After all, he saved them from death. What's to be done? We must get word right away to Prince Iram. Tell him to put himself at the head of those men of his from the mountains. Descend in full force on the city. The moment his men come into sight of Memphis, the people will rise in rebellion. And who is to get word to Prince Elon? I. Could you do it? If you will reveal where I'll be able to find him now, and if you let me have the ring too, to ensure that he believes me. Put it on. door in the palace? I assure you I had no idea of its existence. Somebody must be trying to get rid of me. How could you believe such a thing? No one in this palace would wish you harm. And now I must beg you to excuse me. The queen is waiting for me. Another 100 pieces of gold, and you will be in a position to do away this time with Prince Iram. This ring guarantees that he will do exactly what I tell him to do. 
What is your plan? I shall tell him he must make haste here. That Machiste has made arrangements for a revolt and left him out of it. I shall lead him into the narrow gorge of Gerum. There your soldiers will be lying in wait. And it will be an easy task for you to get the better of Go him. quickly. Take one of my horses so you can get there faster. No. It's much better not to risk discovery. Because one of your horses would be rather conspicuous. Don't worry about me. I never fail to reach a place once I've set my mind on it. I'll let you make arrangements for the ambush. The rest will be for me to do. You're not stupid, officer. Farewell. And don't forget now, in the Gorge of Garum. My profound respects, my recorded time, the kings of Memphis have been handing down a secret. The scepter of royal power in their possession contains a magic potion and a thorn whereby this potion is injected. Whoever is smitten is bereft of his memory and of his free will and becomes an obedient slave entirely in their power. And this is what was used by Tenefus when she cast a spell over Machiste. Not one of the kings may ever reveal the secret to her soul. Otherwise, the potion will lose its power and take effect no longer. But with Machiste, it has already taken effect. I can save him. When Machista was born, his father entrusted him to me. He wanted him to be the strongest and bravest man the world has ever seen. I gave him my promise, and I have kept that promise faithfully. Sit down. I'm giving you a potion that counteracts the power of the other one, but you cannot expect it to save him unless some person gives it to him who is willing to risk death to do it. I am the person who will do it. Tell me what's to be done. One look at your eyes shows your determination and love for him. And this, too, must be kept a secret by you alone, for you are not permitted to share it. Otherwise, the potion that I am giving you will be deprived completely of its effect on him. Do you swear? By the love I bear for Machiste, prophetess, I swear to you. There is a little pointed dart inside this hollow tube. That's what you use on Machiste. The potion will take effect instantly. Don't come back till you have some news worth hearing. Now, tell me, please, what I can do for you, my dear young lady. I would like to have a word with Sir Mile, your commanding officer. And why do you want to speak to him? You're much too curious. All I expect you to tell him is that you have been sent by the girl from the village of Milas, and I'm sure he'll send for me at once. If I were Sir Mile, I wouldn't hesitate an instant. Bam! Accompany this young lady to Sir Mile. Come this way, please. Wait here, please. Which room is Machistis? I'm afraid I've lost That's my way. Door. Thank you. 
strict orders that you are not to leave your apartment. That's an order. Understand? Hold on. What are you doing? Stop that. Stop that. He's out of his mind. Sound the alarm. the reason you went to the palace. Speak up. I want to know what you're doing here. I've nothing to tell you that's any concern of yours. It's none of your business what I'm doing here. Machine, there's escape. Machine, what you Little escape? Piper, uh, oh. I swear I'll make you talk or know the reason why. Uh. Come on. There you are, my queen. This girl entered the palace on false pretenses, and I found her acting suspiciously. She surely must know something of Machiste's escape. Stand up, girl, and be quick about it. Answer the questions that I've put to you. Who are you? I am Anthea. But of what importance is my name to you? You are incapable of understanding, great queen. All you'll ever know is hatred and trickery, and it was only through trickery that you could conquer Machiste, and I've saved him from you. You? By what means? What does it matter whether you know how I did it or not, as long as he is where he belongs? It was my love that set him free. For me, everything is over, and I know you will have your revenge on me. You'll have me killed. But Machiste will always remember that I saved him from you. You sure die for that. Wait a moment, my queen. What I predicted has now happened. Machiste has outwitted you, it seems. And in your eyes, I now read implacable hatred for him. Do you want to have your full revenge on him? Yes. Well then, have it announced that this girl is to be sacrificed to the god of fire. Machiste is not the sort of man to abandon those of his friends who are most faithful to him. He will move the earth to save her, and he will walk right into our hands. The Yuri men will take care of him after that. Let the people be informed that Anthea, guilty of high treason, will be offered as a sacrifice tomorrow to the god of fire. Thus be it written, and thus be it done. Let me go! Come on! No! Oh. No! To 
are you? My beloved Prince Iram, this golden ring, which is well known to you, has enabled me to penetrate to the very heart and center of your well-guarded hiding place, and it bears witness to my loyalty and good faith. Prince Iram, the populace under the command of Machisti will soon rise in rebellion. Then why is it that you have come instead of Arsinoe in person? What's happened to him? I come and go at will in the city without arousing suspicion. But Arsinoe, on the other hand, must remain well hidden. Why take unnecessary risks? Someone might easily recognize him, and in that case... How much time will it take before your men are ready to move? For years I've been ready and waiting for this moment. The men can set out on the march right now, if that's what you wish. We'll join forces with... Machista has already begun to move. I have come to inform you, and while doing so, I am reporting as well the exact orders that Machisti sends you. Arsinoe has advised Machisti to have you approach Memphis by the way of the road through the Gorge of Garin. It's the least likely to be guarded. It's also a shortcut to Memphis. Prince Ira, I leave you now. I'll come to you the moment the men are mounted, and we'll leave at once. Well done. You must forgive me, Omis. I'm afraid I was so anxious to hear the news you gave us that I quite forgot my manners. And that ring of mine you brought to me to serve as your credentials, keep it on. It's yours. Thank you, Prince Iram. Omnis in the palace. He was just coming out of Agadon's room. He's the one who was betrayed us. And when I think that it was I, I, who told Omnis to march the men through the gorge of Garum where they're bound to walk into an ambush. We have a moment to lose. Come on. The Herald. People of Memphis, the prisoner and Thea, guilty of having freed the rebel Machiste, will be put to death today at sunset as an offering to the god of fire. Anthea. It was Anthea who set me free. Come on, Arsene, away. I have to save her. But it's not possible. No one has ever gone into the stronghold of the Uri men and returned. We must try it. Come on. <laughs> I'm in the gorge of Garum. Meanwhile, I'll go to the temple of the fire god. Right. has always protected you and wishes to save you now that you are riding to the mountain of thunder. Heed my words, I have always protected you. These arms have cradled you when you were a helpless baby. Yalis. Yes, Yalis. No, it's impossible. If to save myself I must let the one I love die, then I refuse to obey you. No, Machiste, don't be afraid. I would never dream of suggesting such a thing to you. I only wanted to show you the way to avoid falling into the hands of the one who hates you. You can reach the temple by taking a path that I and no one else knows of. Go to the rapids of the river. Follow the stream along its course underground. And when you emerge above ground again, there, 30 paces in front of you, is a boulder. Move it aside. It covers an entrance to the stronghold of the monsters. But watch one thing. Avoid being clawed by the talons of the Yuri men. They will tear you to pieces. And don't forget, the evil power of the god of fire will come to an end only in that day when someone makes away with one of his intended victims. 
Thank you. I shall obey. Readiness, we await only your order. No! 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 Let me go! Let me go! Oh, no, please! Let me go! No! No! Let me go! No! No! no. Hurl her down into the stronghold of the Yuri men!
chief said, avoid being clogged by the talons of the Uri men. They will tear you to pieces. Don't you want to stay and be my right hand? I thank you, my king. But you know it is my destiny to move on. But maybe I'll be back one day. And remember, rule with benevolence and justice. You have my promise. 